again, it's Chrissy here for part three of mid-deployment support. I just finished up talking about communication and OPSEC, and so we're going to uh, finish up with some self-care strategies and then talk a little bit about connection as well. Now, these videos are intended to deal with the COVID-19 pandemic, um, so realize that sometimes the self-care strategies that you use or the connection tools that you use um, might be interrupted or not be available. Um, I think it's the most simple way that I can suggest to deal with um, a disruption is to focus on the things that you can control, spend your time and energy and effort on those, and um, generally realize what you cannot control and either let go of that, accept it, um, sit with it uncomfortably, um, but doing very small things um, like improving your environment with a new orchid or um, reaching out to a neighbor or just regularly getting um, a certain amount of time outside and exercise, those are very small things can, that can contribute to an overall um, well-being and uh, mood improvement, which is going to relate to um, better mental health. So consider too um, what you are doing right now and what you can be doing that, um, that could improve your lifestyle. Um, so what's nice about this is we can again address service members and family members. So realize which camp you are in, um, what applies to you and um, realize that everyone's experience with deployment is a little bit different. Everyone's experience with the global pandemic is also a little bit different. And that's okay. Realize where people are and then just um, focus on areas that you can improve for yourself and for those around you. So this one kind of, I have a self-assessment and if anyone's interested on, in reading that, I can send it to you. But I feel like it's a little um, overwhelming right now because we just don't have as many resources available to us or as many ways to reach out to others or get involved. Um, but... Something that all of us can do physically when we're talking about um, physical resilience, most of us can eat healthy, um, get the rest that we need, the recommended amount of rest, stay hydrated, be active, and avoid substance abuse. Now, if I am not doing one or not doing all of those things, it will result in a mood change or, a, or an increased stress in my lifestyle. Um, there are studies that equate just small changes in regular sleep schedules that can have great effects on your mood, um, your feelings of anxiety and depression, or your ability to focus and concentrate on daily tasks. Um, I experienced that myself. I'm a parent. Um, I went through, I have three children and I was sleep deprived for not even more than three years. Um, and... I noticed that that changed my mood. I mean, I noticed that I was more irritable than normal. I noticed that I didn't, I gained more weight and I wasn't as healthy as I needed to be. Um, and then I also uh, would experience more heightened emotion. So every time I experienced some kind of feeling of, of sadness or anxiety or um, uh, maybe like uh, cynicism or just not feeling um, connected with anything that that would be heightened when I wasn't getting enough, enough sleep okay so consider all of these as like your daily vitamin something that you can regularly do that you have some amount of control over and that will increase to mental strength um, in your life okay um, for service members if you are in a workstation where you're not getting sunlight and you're not outside Plan for time in your day where you can do that. If you are not in a workstation where you can do that, find other ways that you can get um, some daylight hours in some way, okay? Um, all of these are very important. Um, for emotional, um, realize that nobody never ever in the entire, ever since I've been alive, I've never met a perfect person. I don't think a perfect person exists now or in the future. So realize that that's, that is not a lofty and um, a, attainable goal, okay? Recognize imperfections. Look at those as opportunities for improvement and not failures on you as a person, okay? I make plenty of mistakes. I'm a life skills educator. That just means I recognize mistakes and I try to do better. That's it. It doesn't mean I do anything perfect or even well, okay? Um, expressing gratitude. Um, that's one of the things that I am working on right now during a global pandemic. 
I will um, recognize the things that are still existing and happening. People are still having babies. I see birds. Um, if I look out my window, I see the cherry blossom trees in my neighborhood growing. I can see um, I can see animals who are unaffected. And then I also express gratitude, like thank I'm thankful that. Um, that we have the means. I'm thankful that I have work right now. I am thankful that my children are healthy. I am thankful that our family unit is functioning. I didn't say well, but I said functioning, okay? Celebrate the little wins and express gratitude because that will change your mind to where I'm not going down the path of negative cynicism, um, feeling overwhelmed in my situation, instead changing it to, well, I do have some things that, that I can look forward to. And this is how we build our mental strength. Um, prioritize, um, that would just mean to, like, I can't feel overwhelmed with every little thing I'm supposed to do during the day. Sometimes I need to get a workout in or I might have an important project right now and I might need to put something else on the wayside. Um, just realize what your priorities are and then check it back for some like time management strategies because we have some other ways to help you manage and prioritize tasks. Um, be flexible for what comes your way. Um, realize that that is a strength to be flexible as a human being. It builds mental resiliency. And then reward yourself, even for little things. Little things like, hey, I got really frustrated with my children today. I felt very overwhelmed at work. Um, I accomplished a task that was new for me. I solved a problem. I put out a fire at work. I'm going to reward myself with something. I don't know, an extra, an extra sh show before bed, um, with taking a walk, with uh, reaching out to a family member, with sneaking into the, the chocolate stash, whatever that is, okay? Reward yourself for small accomplishments in life, okay? Um, and then the last thing here that I want to discuss is your support system. So think about this for sailors, for service members, and also for your children and other family members. Um, we sometimes don't speak as much about family members that are not within the nuclear family of the military family. So like parents, uh, siblings, cousins, um, those other people are a part of our support structure as well. And those people also can, can you can get some benefit from this kind of um, training, okay? So these are some I ideas of support structures. Um, and think about where you might have lost some of your support system during a deployment. Um, you need to fill in those spaces. So I've, I've got a different model that I wanna show you really quick. So this is a general model, but I've put me in the middle and then I put some other like just very general terms on the outside. So I drew arrows differently here. So just for me, I have kids, but my kids are not really providing me a lot of support structure, not a lot of social support. They provide me like uh, some gratification, some like purpose, but they don't help me with my emotional well-being or my mental well-being. Uh, that's just the truth because <laughs> of the age that they are. So I'm helping them right now, homeschooling, I'm their emotional support, I'm their uh, entertainment, I'm uh, providing them with their connection to the outside world, so I am giving a lot to them. I could also put on here, like I might have a friend that's going through maybe a divorce or has lost their job or is just having trouble adjusting, so I'm providing a heavy arrow out because that is a lot of support that I am providing to that person. Um, I've got an organization that supports me, okay? Maybe it's an organization that I do for something that's fun. Um, maybe it's a hobby. Maybe it's a professional organization that's helping me um, with, uh, with work accomplishments. Um, so think about something that comes to you. And then there can be other things where I am providing both. Like I offer supports at my church because I teach Sunday school or I sing in the choir or I help with their accounting books, and then they also provide me with, um, with support services. So consider that you need at any time in your life, you need six social support organizations or people that you can rely on, and then consider how many arrows are coming in towards you and how many are going out. 
because you could have too many arrows coming out and that's when you'll start to feel depleted as a person. You're offering too much social support to other people and there's not enough coming in. Likewise, I might be having too much coming to me and that might actually be causing a source of stress in my life because I need to be giving out to feel more, uh, more whole as a human being. So this is another area where you can kind of sit down and figure out, hey, what, what support is there for me and what support am I giving? And is it balanced and equal? And this is a good way to kind of determine that, right? So the last thing I want to provide before we finish up is know that there are additional support um, briefs for you, whether on our YouTube channel or through our social media pages. I want you to know that our centralized scheduling number is still available. Um, if you do not have access to that, please reach out through an email to Fleet and Family Support Center. Um, the best way to reach Life Skills Department is FFS. C, so Fleet and Family Support Center, SD for San Diego, training request at navy.mil. Um, but centralized scheduling will be working during COVID-19. I am working during COVID-19 in my workspace at home. Um, and we are looking forward to seeing everyone when this is all over. We're so excited to see everyone's smiling faces on the other side. Um, and thank you for all of that you guys do for service members. Um, and for their family members. I know that a lot of you offer additional support services, so I wanna take time to uh, thank you for that as well. So thanks for your service. Thank you, and uh, we'll see you for another video. Bye.